shoulders, up, push, there, here, there, 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 there. Okay, there's the ideal scenario. Yeah. So that right now doesn't cover yet too much ground because it's too weak and not too enough and you don't have the timing, but that's where you eventually want to go. Good. See, now that's good right there. That's nice. Good. Good. Good job. Good. 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 And, you, and now you take it back on his ass. Take it back. Lift the shoulders. So when I say take it back, you don't even want to stop the front legs. You just need to lift it here. So during the extension, we keep raising the shoulders and they don't let them go with the arch. You undo the arch and get it like step by step by step, getting higher and higher and higher. Good. Good. Good, that's it. Good. Raise the shoulders. There you go. Good. There, raise, raise, raise. You can only go that much forward because you also want to teach him about good trot, right? So not what you don't want to teach him what you know to be a good extension to please the judge. You want to teach him how to stay every step up in the ride and he doesn't know it's going to amount to an extension at some point. So he, he's unaware of that. Very good. Good for you. Cool. I think it's always county when like you get these things or uppers that are like not staying over the back and that fight the contact and that they hit the brakes and turn around and do all of these things. And I'm sure he has. And then, then the first first thing you do is you ride them on the bit and ride them over the back. But then once you've accomplished that, then you start riding their athletic ability. I don't know that it would. I think you, you, in the back of your head, I have to know that, in the back of your head, I have to know that you are going to have to ignore the baggage if you've done a good job, because I think that you have. I, I can't see it. I guess it gets a bit inclined, okay? but not worse than any other horse sort of occasionally saying, no, I don't feel like it. So I didn't see any of it, so I think you've done a fine job getting rid of it, so just ride your training and get on with it. And worst case scenario, what you can always do is you always have the chance to, you know, take him in a two-point seat and then go way over the top of his head, go over the frame, and just chase him off his feet with his head up in the air and just reconnect him to a forward mount. You know, that's also, if he does this, like if ha this happened today, I would have just told you, just get him to move, get in two point and canter him until all witnesses right now establish me to set up and try to get him into the contact and then take him up to the pile and then down back to where you were before he stops. <laughs> It's difficult, it's like the, the long hind leg, short front leg thing. Yeah. Yeah. And initially you have to, first, in order for them to go over the back, you have to chase them. Yeah. But then the it's second... Like huge, big forward, I know, but then there's no coming back from that because they just stick their, their ass up in the air and we can't get any of it. So you have to do the other extreme and then slowly connect the two again. The biggest that you don't get so rhythmical about once you have the right rhythm, it's his job to hold it. You're too inclined to support the rhythm that he offers. So, Ooh, now I've got it, you recognize that you've got it, but then you want to hang on to it with your seat. And that's no good because the same thing that's going to happen then is just going like, to take that back down to the forehand. You know, sure so. Um, what also might help him if he actually gets shod in front and if you do not roll the toe, like set the shoe up in front of him, you can, on that one, you can roll it behind. He doesn't, like, because it pushes so much, I 
needed, yes, you needed, to, so this one's the mechanics are good in the high leg, but not in the front leg. The longer you get the job in front, the more he'll keep his front legs out in front of him, and he takes, he, he spends more time out in front of you, and it slows down the mechanic in the front leg, and it speeds up the one behind you. That'll help you, for him. I think he doesn't need to do more, huh? You don't need to challenge him until he feels that he needs to bail him. Because when he looks and he stands, he looks, he doesn't look that George Front Leg and that long behind him. He doesn't look the way he's got his custom from over. He isn't that bad. The child couldn't see it when he was good and he were having all four um, parts of him, all four arms of him going. Then it was gone. And I don't think he is that. It's just because he had to ride so much forward or just bring the down kick. And then it looks worse because then they'll start breaking it. And it gets all crazy and then all goes to hell and hell. Cool. You're yeah. welcome. Good. Which one did you bring? The, the bay one? Cool. It's fun. Yeah.